हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर अदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स नाऊ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फार्मास्युटिक्स टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन दॅट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इमल्शन इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायफेजिक लिक्विड डोसेज फॉर्म्स इमल्शन अँड इमल्शन इज अ हेट्रोजिनस सिस्टीम कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ ऍटलिस्ट वन एमिसिबल लिक्विड dispersed in the form of droplets diameter that is 0.1 micrometer to 100 micrometer is called dispersed phase and the liquid in which the globules are dispersed is called continuous phase the two immiscible liquids cannot be dispersed for long period so an emulsifying agent having the peculiar structure in which one end is a hydrophilic and other is a lipophilic is used because of that it is possible for emulsifying agent to form a thin film at the interface and reduce the interfacial tension so let's see about the classification of emulsion that is the simple classification is oil in water o by w type and water in oil means w by o type in this oil in water o by w type we have oil is a internal phase while water acts as a acts as a external phase while in this water in oil type w means water which is a internal phase while oil is a external phase there are the tests to decide the type of emulsion there are total four tests that is the dye test dilution test conductivity test and fluorescence test so the emulsifying agents can be divided as follows the emulsifying agents are natural semi synthetic synthetic inorganic and alcohols so in natural there are two types vegetable source and animal source in vegetable we have gum acacia tragacanth agar pectin starch then erium moss that is chondrus and animal source means wool fat egg yolk gelatin semi synthetic methyl cellulose sodium carboxy methyl cellulose that is sodium cmc synthetic anionic cationic non ionic which containing charges anionic means containing negative charge cationic positive charge non ionic that are chargeless inorganic milk of magnesia magnesium oxide magnesium trisilicate magnesium aluminum silicate and bentonite and the alcohols that is carbovaxes cholesterol lecithins then emulsions for oral mixture are made with naturally occurring gums as they are inert with the respective therapeutic agent acacia is the best emulsifying agent for extemporaneous preparation for oral emulsion and are the stable over a wide range of ph that is 2 to 10 but they are too sticky for external use the tragacanth increases the viscosity however it is not good emulsifying agent the monovalent soaps which form o by w that is oil in water type of emulsion means in which oil is a internal phase while water is acts as a external phase this o by w type of emulsion are not useful for oral mixture as they cause hemolysis preparation of emulsions the following methods are commonly used for the preparation of emulsions on a small scales that is dry gum method wet gum method bottle method and other methods first of all let's discuss about dry gum method in this first of all we have to measure the required quantity of oil in a dry measure and transfer it into a dry mortar then add the calculated quantity of gum acacia into it and triturate so as to form a uniform mixture then third one add required quantity of water and triturate vigorously till a clicking sound is produced and the product becomes white or nearly white due to the total internal reflection of light the emulsion produced at this stage is known as primary emulsion then fourth one add more of water with the trituration to produce the required volume then the following table shows the proportion of oil water and gum acacia required for different types of oils serial number type of the oil example ratio of oil as to water as to gum so first of all fixed oil example castor oil almond oil arachis oil cod liver oil the ratio of oil as to water as to gum is 4 as to 2 as to 1 second volatile oil that are turpentine oil pe- peppermint oil and cinnamon oil ratio of 
oil as to water as to gum is 2 as to 2 as to 1. Third one, mineral oil, liquid paraffin, ratio of oil as to water as to gum is 3 as to 2 as to 1. Then wet gum method, second method of preparation of emulsion is wet gum method. In this method, the proportion of oil as to water as to gum for preparing the primary emulsion is the same as given in the table. Calculate the quantity of oil, water and gum required for preparing the primary emulsion. Then powder the gum acacia in a mortar, add water and triturate it with gum as to form mucilage. Then third one, add the required quantity of oil in the small portion with the rapid trituration until a clicking sound is produced and the produce, it will become white or nearly white. At this stage, the emulsion is known as primary emulsion. Then fourth one, add more of water in small portion to the primary emulsion with the trituration to produce the required volume of uniform emulsion. And fifth one, transfer the emulsion to a bottle, cork it, label and submit. Then third one, bottle method. Bottle method is used for the preparation of emulsions of volatile and other non-viscous oils. This proportion of oil as to water as to gum is 2 as to 2 as to 1. Measure first one, measure the required quantity of the oil and the transfer into a large bottle. Add required quantity of powdered gum acacia. Then second one, shake the bottle vigorously until the oil and gum are mixed thoroughly. Third one, add the calculated amount of water all at once. Then fourth one, shake the mixture vigorously to form a primary emulsion. Fifth one, add more of water in a small portions with the constant agitation to produce the required volume. Then recommended container, screw, capped, plain bottles. Special labeling instructions are shake well before use as it is a liquid dosage form. Then NMRs, these are the solutions, suspensions or oil in water emulsions of medicaments intended for rectal administration. Container is a single use plastic pack with the rectal nozzle. So in next session we will see about the experiments. Experiment number 38. Title of this experiment is to prepare and submit emulsion containing small portion of oily substance that is 10 ml. Proposition 1 is formulation of emulsion containing calciferol when the concentration of oil is less than 10% of finished emulsion. It can be diluted with a fixed oil. Learning objectives are to understand the problem in a preparation of emulsion containing less than 10% of the oily liquid and its remedial measure. Then ability to use the fixed oil in appropriate quantity to make up for the oily liquid in given prescription and prepare emulsion carefully. Apparatus required are mortar, pestle, measuring cylinder, pipettes, beaker. Factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 10 upon 4 that is equal to 2.5 ml. Prescription is given over here which is denoted by this symbol Rx. This prescription is given in the Latin. We have this formula table. Type means the category, role or the use of ingredient. Translation means the name of ingredient. Quantity given in the imperial system that is for 4 ml. Quantity given in the metric system for 4 ml. And quantity taken in the metric system to prepare up to 10 ml. So first of all we have liquid calciferol that is a source of vitamin D, D2. Which is 1 minim MII means M minim 2. That is 1 minim is 0 0.06 into 2, that is 0.12 ml. We have, this is taken quantity in metric system, 0.3 ml, which should be calculated with the help of factor. Then second, glycerin, used as a viscosity enhancer, minim V means phi. So 1 minim is 0 0.06 into phi, that is 0 0.3 ml. And quantity taken should be 0 0.75 ml water used as a vehicle. Add drachum I. So 4 ml quantity taken is quantity sufficient to prepare up to 10 ml acacia emulsion stabilizer quantity given that is should be the in the metric is the quantity sufficient quantity taken should be the 0.2 gram direction use as directed by physician. Now move for performing of actual experiment in laboratory. So we have this acacia as the emulsifying agent then this is the liquid calciferol, glycerin and this is uh, purified water. So first of all we have to prepare this particular type of experiment by dry millimeter. So we are going to add this acacia, then this liquid calciferol.
then next one we are again going to add this glycerin into it and triturate it properly then again i am going to add this olive oil into it and again triturate it properly then again i am going to add remaining amount of glycerin into it and then again after proper trituration now i am going to add the purified water into it then we will stir it for few minutes for proper mixing and to avoid the phase separation so after proper trituration i transferred that particular emulsion into this measuring cylinder now i am going to add the purified water into it for making the volume up to 10 ml so after making the volume up to 10 ml i am going to transfer it into this particular container and then we will proceed for next labeling part so now move towards labeling part so the labeling of formulation emulsion tenable for abc that is name of patient register number xyz that is number given in the register dispensed by pqr in name of pharmacist date manufacturing date september 2020 storage condition store in cool and dark place one for another direction shake well before use and use as directed by physician manufactured by elman pharmacy nasik result the 10 ml of this emulsion is submitted in this amber colored glass bottle for the inspection of special instruction written as shake well before 